Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> you're looking at a horse of another color right now. What we're working on here is a port and reshape like no other that y'all have seen me do before. This is not performance, this is not horsepower. What you're looking at is a forward cylinder head. Uh, I'll get the specs on it in a minute. I've done a thousand of them, but these little foreign, what I call rice burner type heads. There's so many of them, it's hard to keep designation. But anyway, it's a forward, and it has a unique shape. Look at the shape of this runner. A D on one side and a round port in another. Its design was for a velocity change to try to get the best of both worlds. And uh, I get uh, more of these, I used to get more of these than the porting until my YouTube customers, God bless y'all, have brought me the business you have. But uh, this is how I've really been keeping the shop running the past few years. I'll take a regular car like a, like a Toyota Camry or like a Honda Accord, like this little Ford, and I go in there and alter the port shape do my valve job, unshroud the chamber, and I can take a car that was getting about 20 miles to a gallon and it'll get about 25 miles to a gallon. Some of them will get three more, some of them will get five. The best report was on a Honda VTEC head. I actually picked it up nine miles to a gallon by going in there and report shaping it. And it's a quick deal, it's not too long. This is for a customer. This is a brand new casting and what he done, he busted the head and this is a brand new head from our local parts house supplier and I'm taking the parts out of his old head putting in this one but while we was at it uh, you know he called me for the swap he asked me about my MPG mode and when I told him five miles to a gallon of gas well you can imagine the excitement in this day and time a gas cost him around four dollars a gallon uh, I had it figured out one time that on a six hundred dollar job it would take about six months that the gas mileage saving would pay for the entire job of pulling it apart and fixing it when you look at that so anyway i picked this one because this is one weird turkey we'll get in more into the design of this shape a half moon and a sun is what they call it a sun and a moon and this is per one port one port one port one port and how it works and what i'm going to do to increase the gas mileage all right, anyway, that's uh, that's all for right now. We'll get back on this in just a minute. First area to work on, of course, as I always pick, is the combustion chamber. Uh, she's got a quench pad right here, a really good centrally located, almost hemispherical type and spark plug relation. And as you can see, it is almost a hemi type head. It's a really good head design. It made a lot of power and got good gas mileage, but it's got its problems. Now, let's go over here and take a look. First area that we see that there's a problem with is we got a lot of shrouding around the intake where the Surdy machine went in there and cut it. And uh, this is the only problem I got because I ain't got but the valves that are in the head. So I got to be extremely careful on what I'm using just to trim this out, get it unshrouded, mainly come in right here, make a little bit of a swoop, and pull it in right to the edge just to unshroud it here on the bottom, which is the low lift flow. That's going to be the area that I concentrate on the most. So... Um, I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do it. This is the gasket system. It's one of them MLS's. And uh, by the way, I had to kind of create my own dowel pin, as you can see, to lock this down. I took some big block Chevrolets and conformed it so I could get a good anchor. As you can see right there, my line, I can come in right here, make a little bit of a swoop. And this will lose just a touch of compression, which that's okay because I want to lose just a little bit anyway. Uh, for carbon buildup later on, the, the customer wants to keep this for a while. So I clear all this out right in here, roll over that hump and blend it, and that combustion chamber work will net some good thermal energy conductivity and it will help make a little bit better gas mileage. Remember now, the game of this head is gas mileage. Extra torque is secondary. I mean, I'm sure anybody would love an extra 20 or 30 foot pounds if you call on it when you're passing the car. But the main thing I'm after here, I'm after a goal of five miles per gallon. Because if I can get this for this man, it's made him happy, it's going to be a better head, it's going to last longer, and it will pay for itself in a short amount of time. 
All right, so there's our combustion chamber. I'll get you some better looks at it once I get everything set up so you can see the on this sun and half moon deal, <clears throat> when you put the gasket on there, describe it, uh, it's a pretty good amount of material that has to come off the moon. Uh, as you can see, right here, there's over a, a quarter of an inch, and that shape is true all the way back. Uh, it goes all the way back, so in order to get it right, I'm going to have to come in here, uh, pull that whole wall over, and pull that in to give it a more direct shot um, so it can do its job. All right, let me give it to you in another view so you can see down in there. It, you won't ever see another head like this. This is pretty crazy. Okay, here we are uh, trying to scope down the port, and as you can see, you can see the valve guide coming through. Uh, right there at the end of the point there's the valve guide and you can see where the scribe line is look at all that chunk of meat that's just covering it up okay if we can straighten that area out right there pull that over pull this down some get it a better shot and then over here um, I don't know if you can see it but it takes the form of a letter D let me see if I can get you a better shot okay if I can go in here without taking too much material out and form that D shape, see there's the flat side of the D and then the covered wagon. If I can go in there, pull that shape in and straighten it out, I would say probably the mod on both of these two ports right here might be about 6 cc's, maybe 7 tops, and that would be with the bow work. Remember that in this game, uh, it's not volume and size. It is sheer shape trying to get the, the, the most packed amount of CFM without increasing volume because we're after one thing and one thing is a primary goal. Gas mileage. Uh, five miles per gallon, I would just be tickled to death. Now, as a side uh, bonus, if he needs to, if he's in traffic and needs to pass a car, this could possibly yield about 20 foot pounds, maybe 25 foot pounds. And you know that might not sound like much, but on one of these little four bangers and a Ford Focus, it's a lot. You could feel that in the seat of your pants. So anyway, that's what we're doing on the intake. We're not, I'd say, increasing cross-sectional area by 3%. We're just, the areas like this hang up here and this hang up right here, we're going to only chew on the two areas where there's hang ups, where it's causing a little bit of a restriction. We're not enlarging it in here, making it any bigger, because you start fooling with that too much and the fuel injectors ain't going to have enough fuel to keep up with it and we don't want check engine lights coming on or anything and if all you do is correct a little shape grab a few numbers in it for gas mileage and the engine will compensate for it and there's not a problem all right so let me go on in there let me give you a shot of it where i've already poured it on one a little bit trying to straighten it out and you can see remember how big the radius was i chewed a whole chunk of that out and got it conforming now where I got a lot straighter of a shot before I go in that bowl. I will take the guide right here and bobtail this thing the best that I can to make it aerodynamic. And um, it all be pretty interesting uh, what we come up with. I don't think the owner of the head knew I was going to go uh, this much into it. I just told him I was going to pick up gas mileage. So he's probably going to be surprised when he sees it. He might even get a little scared and think I'm trying to make a race head out of it. But I can assure you that's the farthest thing from my mind. Here I've kind of drawn out what we're looking at right here. Uh, the measurements are 500 in is where I'm picking off of. And uh, just going in there measuring it and trying to use this and relate this to valve diameter to see what they were trying to do. And I mean, I know what they're trying to do, but I'm trying to figure out a way I can relate it to you where you guys will understand this. But like I said, this is a miles per gallon head. So removing a bunch of material in cross-sectional area is not what we want to do because that's going to make my customer have to change injectors. So we're real limited on A, how much we can take out, and B, where we're taking it out at. Uh, we're not going after any high lift flow numbers at all. We're going after 
one and two hundred lift, maybe some on three, but that that's it. I imagine the max lift on this cam is probably around four to four twenty-five in that range. So we just want to concentrate this because if I had to make a guess with what my customer does, he drives back and forth. He has a thirty-five mile trip into town, thirty-five mile back. Other than that, I'd say seventy percent of this man's time is going to be driven in town traffic. Therefore, really emphasis on the RPM of around 2,000 to 3,000 is going to be where this needs to be at. He'll seldom be over that unless he's on the interstate and that's going to be a brief period. So, that being said, the, the main area, the one we're going to look at is this D shape. This is our baby right here. This is the problem. This is what needs to be corrected because the D is real little, the gasket that we used gave us a considerable amount of material which I'm fixing to show you to change right here and on in the center here and what that's going to do is that's going to create more of a pressure drop on this side. The center port is going to be more for your higher lift flow or you know your interstate cruising speed. This is what we're concentrating on is the D. All right, now let's get a close-up look at these ports from the top side so you can see what a devilishly clever job that Ford did. This is really a cool-as-hell head for what they designed it for. Hey, as you can see, uh, look how much more gasket room that I got. Of course, I haven't seen the manifold, but that don't matter. Look, there's probably 130 to 150 thousandths right here that I can go in there and straighten that wall out and not have to make it make that turn so dramatic.